She also joined Radio, a fun and high energy band based in Sacramento. Wow, so she's from Sacramento as one of their uh, Steve Frontline vocalists. Most recently, Lauren appeared on the first season of ABC's Rising Star as part of a group called Trinity. Currently, she is working on her first EP album to showcase her overflowing talent and vocal diversity. Lauren's charismatic smile, fun-loving personality both on and off stage, and her unforgettable, unrelenting gift of song will bring life to this generation and generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all give a big hand to Lauren Ona.
before I sing my last song, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was such a huge part of this. Um, thank you to my friends and my family and um, everyone that was behind this, putting this together. I'm so excited to share the stage with the amazing talent that's going to be on here tonight. So give it up for all those people. Let me hear it. If I could see you, I would tell you guys you all look beautiful, but I know, I know you do. I could feel your energy just beaming on me.
because now she is a family. Okay, our next performer is the youngest of them all. <laughs> and he is the only thorn among the flowers. So ladies and gentlemen, I know I don't have to give much introduction to this gentleman because he is tagged to be the king of Kundiman. Of course, other than uh, Tito Ruben Tagalog, right? Um, so ladies and gentlemen, Tito Rick Manrique Jr. is our next performer. Can you believe that? And I heard he has recorded almost not 500 songs, not 600 songs, but a thousand songs during his singing career. But that doesn't reflect his age, okay? Uh, you know, don't say that you heard that from me, but he's still very young. Okay, and he was the golden boy of Villiers Records. During the 60s and 70s, Rick practically recorded all the Filipino movie theme songs. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, right here at Harbor Lights, let's welcome Mr. Rick Manrique Jr.
Ang susunod ng awit ay naalim sa mga nagkagatahan ng ilang na Pilipina. Ako yun! Yun! Wala akong makakita eh. Huwag mo 
Thank you. 
1960s. Martin Rivera pa rin naman siya today, di ba? Yes. Thank you very much, Tito Rick. You know, I know he did a lot of uh, great things in the music industry. And he owes uh, is, uh, $700. That's also a lot of cash. And then we do have uh, third prices and uh, consolation prices. But I think we're going to draw also 10 at $50. So I do hope that uh, you'll be able to support Divine Mercy as much as you can tonight. So I'd like to make sure that before the door closes, everybody is well seated. For those of you who don't know, we have a lot of celebrities in the house today, but um, I will allow the colleagues to introduce them later on. But we do have a lot of special, special guests that I see, beautiful faces, and those who uh, were popular in the industry. I'd like to talk to you about uh, our next performers, The Hypertensions. The Hypertensions is composed of Linda Magno, Norma Ledesma, and Karina Afabwe. The group was formed in 1973 after the ladies' individual successes in film, stage, and television. As a trio, it was a matter of the sum being greater than its parts. A melding of three distinctive talents into one fabulous singing group. They call themselves hypertensions. Do you wonder why they call themselves hypertensions? <laughs> Is it given, you think? Okay. <laughs> I heard a, a different story uh, yesterday. So anyways, because it's truly because they elevate the audience's blood pressure through their performances. And you're going to experience that tonight. Individually, the ladies have achievements to boost. Linda has been recording artists under Villier Records in the Philippines, where she received the Philippine National Press Voice Award, Phoenix Star Award, and the Leo Award for Best Performer. She also performed at the Toronto Variety Club Telethon and also sang at the Dragon Boat Festival in Vancouver, Canada, where she is now based. Norma started singing at the age of five. Can you believe it? Her album, Kind of Music, was Awit Awards Best Album of the Year in 1968 while her single, Forbidden Love, was best song of the year in 1969. From the age of nine to her late 30s, she appeared in about 15 films. She also had a TV show called La Desma Show. She now resides in California, so we are very lucky. Karina started in the entertainment business when she was only eight years old. She appeared in about eight movies and was nominated FAMA's Best Supporting Actress for the movie Pat Patria Adorada. She also was in TV shows such as the Philippine Chelsea Dance Time, May I Sing to You, Karina Show, Kitty Land, and Stop, Look, and Listen. In the US, she appeared in the Barney Miller Show, Weiner's Nitzel TV and performed in concerts all over the United States, Canada, and Europe. She's now living in Nevada. The Hypertensions have performed in five-star hotels all over Asia for international crowd such as the Manila Hilton, 
Shangri-La Hotel in Singapore, Jakarta Hilton, Kuala Lumpur Hilton, Dusit Tani Hotel in Bangkok, and many others in the USA and Canada, including Caesars Palace in Atlantic City. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the hypertensions, and we're gonna show you some video for the memory lane. such as the Manila Hilton, Shangri-La Hotel in Singapore, Jakarta Hilton, Kuala Lumpur Hilton, Dusit Pan Hotel in Bangkok, and many others in the USA and Canada, including Caesars Palace in Atlantic City. Linda Magno, Norma Ledesma, Karina Fowle, together here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Hypertension!
Magandang gabi po sa kanilang lahat. Ako po si Karina. At ako po ay taga Batangas. Meron mga mga taga Batangas dito. Mayong gabi, kanin yung tanan. Ang matraffic sa amin? Pampir. Ito, pampir. Ito na nung kasama namin, si Linda. Sa inyo, sa inyo ba matraffic din? Ay, all and always yun. Saan? Sa Pangasinan! Maraming taga-pangasinan. Ano ba kayo? Pero sabi nila, biglang kumihinga yung sound system, kaya hindi nila nadinig. Sabi lang, bakit sabi yung nga, hindi namin nadinig eh. Well, as I always say, everywhere we went, nobody wants to believe that we are all Filipinas. That's because we all have different colors. Because Norma here happens to be a very white Filipina. And Linda happens to be a very dark Filipina. <laughs> from the Broadway musical Pippin, and the other one is an old standard. Sunset. 
Lalo na pag may labas kami, kami yung tatlo, we have different ways of dividing our money. Kagaya ko, mamaya ng konti, pag natanggap na namin yung mga ibinayad ninyo. <laughs> Ganito ang ginagawa namin. The way I divide my money, I draw a circle and I throw my money up in the air. <laughs> 